Hey, I'm Dusty, friends call me Moose. I'm the dude behind CameraTips.com. And in this video, I wanna show you the best video settings on the Sony a6000 for vlogs and everyday recording. Now I'm a dad of four kids and I wanted to come up with a recipe of settings that kind of get the camera out of the way. I could just hit the record button and get good results outdoors in bright light or indoors in dim light. So I'm gonna run through the settings really quickly and then do a test video at the very end so you can see how it looks. If you want, I will go ahead and put all of the settings down in the description below so you can check that out in case you work better by looking at things written down. So let's go ahead and jump to it. The first thing that we wanna do is jump into the menu. And we're gonna start on the very first tab on page one and come down to file format and make sure that this is set to AVCHD. Next, we're gonna come over to page two and we're gonna select record setting. Now here you have a decision. You can go with 60p or 24p. 60p gives you that soap opera real life look and 24p gives you that cinematic kind of filmic look. I prefer 24p, so I'm gonna go ahead and select 24p FX, which is the highest quality version of that file format. Next, I'm gonna come over to page three and come down to AF drive speed, and we're gonna set this to fast. Go down to AF track duration, and we're gonna set that to high. Then we're gonna come over to page five and come down to smile face detect, and we're gonna set this option to on. Then we're gonna go over to page six and if your lens comes with image stabilization or steady shot, we're gonna go ahead and enable that and turn that on. All right, so that's it for the menu. Now we're gonna jump into the function menu and we can do that by pressing this FN button on the back of the camera. So if we enter into this function menu, we're gonna come over to focus mode and set that to AFC or continuous. Then we're gonna go over here to focus area, set this to wide, Back in the function menu, come down to ISO. We're gonna set that to auto. Back in the function menu, go to your metering mode, make sure that is set to multi. Then we're gonna come over here to white balance and set this to auto. All right, so the last step is to set the shooting mode. And I prefer to set the shooting mode to aperture priority. And all we have to do is rotate the mode dial on top of the camera to the letter A. Now in aperture priority, we have control over the aperture by rotating this dial here. So if I rotate the dial to the right, I increase my aperture, which also increases the depth of field. And if I go the other direction, I lower my aperture F number. So in most situations, we want to select the lowest possible aperture F number. And that's gonna be dependent on your lens. On this kit lens, if I zoom all the way in, the lowest aperture I can get to is f5.6. If I zoom out, I can actually select a lower aperture all the way down to f3.5. Now you may have a lens that maybe goes to f1.8 or f1.4, and in those uh, particular cases, you wanna to wanna to roll back your aperture all the way down to those values. All right, so let's go ahead and do a test video. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that my aperture is dialed down to f3.5. To uh, start recording, all we have to do is press this button on the back side of the camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and press that. And I'm gonna turn this camera around so you guys can see what I see. And these are my settings for video. Uh, you can see if I move the camera closer, the camera's doing a good job of keeping my face in focus. As I move closer to a, a bright source of light, the camera is adjusting the exposure really well. It's kind of keeping that background out of focus, which is nice. Uh, as I move around, you can kind of see, again, just how well the autofocus is tracking me. Now, if you're still trying to figure this camera out, maybe you're really interested in photography as well, I actually just released a set of really simple cheat sheets that walk you through the exact settings I use for really common scenarios like portraits, sports, landscapes, and more. You can kind of think of them like recipes. I show you the shooting mode, the exposure settings like aperture, shutter speed, and ISO. I also go over the autofocus modes I use depending on the subject or scene. So if you want to check those out, I'll put a link down in the description below. Until next time, 
Thanks for watching. Catch you later.